Hi, I'm Chi Izuma and today I'm going to be painting the Yoda Mythos statue by Saisho. Let's paint! The first thing I'm going to do is base the figure. The base coat is done. Now I'm going to add some skin details. I can see little his like lighter parts of the skin, so I mix this lemon green color. I kind of try to go heavy around the high points. It's okay to have one spot a little more yellow than other. That creates more like a realistic effect too. I just mix this color, like a transparent brown. I'll do the same treatments as the first steps. When I'm applying this brown color, I try to break it up the spots that if you see more green or see more yellow. I'm gonna go a little heavy above his eyebrow, so kind of create a little more depth. I made this dark green color. I gotta be very careful when I'm applying this to his skin. And then of course I'm gonna go a little heavy inside of his ear. So I hope you could see the difference. This is a before all this detail and this is a after. I'm gonna add a brown wash and sponge stipple. So I'm just gonna go loose and kind of rough. Kind of went heavy, so I could just add a water just to break it up a little bit. I'm basically kind of removing some spots that I think paints a little heavy. I'm gonna start walking on the back of his ear and his neck. Okay, I think this is done. For this color, I'm just gonna airbrush basic like a shadow spot, like a inside of the ear, behind the neck. Some spot I go heavier between those eye right here and inside of the mouth. I'm just airbrushing little wrinkles on his lips. Also, I kind of lightly haze around his temple. So I'll do the same thing to his right side of his face. I'm going to add some pink, like fresh colors. I won't make it so watery because I want it to be noticeable. Make sure the sponge is a little damp so you could kind of wipe at the same time, able to blend it. I like this side at this moment, so I'm gonna try to do that same to the left ear. I think I like it, so let's move on to the next steps. Just looking at this piece, he is almost like a jumping off from his base. So of course his face will be focal point. So I just wanna hit the high points. Little bit on the forehead. Finally, Yoda's skin is complete. Next, I'm going to work on his eyes. I don't want to use like a straight white paint, so I will make it like almost like a light gray color. I'm going to add his top eyeliner and the bottom eyeliner. So when you see the, this like a harsh eyeliner line on the top of the bottom eyelids, I use a toothpicks, kind of almost like a blended into the skin tones. I know that the eyeliner line is not straight, but I will adjust it when I start working on the iris and the pupil. I like to put this piece all together. So he's looking straight, so I'm gonna put little dots somewhere around here. 
since I have all this kind of similar green colors already, I'm probably going to reuse those paints. So Yoda has a bigger iris than most of the figure I paint, so I'll make his iris bigger. At this point, it's kind of hard to see am I in the right directions or not. I'm gonna adjust tear duct to red so I can see the eye shape clearly. Once I put little dots on the corner, I'll use like a cream brush with a little bit of water and kind of blend it in. I'm going to start painting the iris ring. This piece is a little tricky because I noticed his left eye is open slightly bigger than his right. So I have to kind of change his shape of his eyes a little bit on his left. I'm basically blending in all this color, but I want to make the center of his eyes lighter color. I feel like I need to add a little more colors on the eyes. I just try to make his eyes pop, so I'm adding lighter colors in the middle, adding little brown colors for the more eye details. At this point, I'm going to add his pupils. Since he's looking straight forward, I'm just gonna put his pupil right in the middle. It's okay if it's a little off because his pupil should be a little bigger. Using the pointy tip of the toothpicks to tweak in the shape of the pupils. Now his eyes wrapped up. Next, I'm going to work on his hair. So this paint will be his base coat. I will go a little darker on his hairline. This one's a little tricky because you can see through his scalp. So I just need to go hair by hair. I am following the hair sculpt line, but even you go over, that's okay. That kind of creates more natural look. So now I'm switched to the bigger brush. I'm still using this hairline color, but I will add a little bit more base color for his hair. Let's get in there. I might need to switch the brush again. It's not just painting the top of the surface. I have to kind of look around and see so I could paint even the side angle of his hair. Finally, I finished basing his hair. I'm going to add a dry brush and wash. I'm not going so heavy on the dry brush, baby, lightly. Okay, so next, I'm gonna mix the wash color. Let's start with the hairline first. I'm just gonna go over lightly. I'm not trying to do every hair. I'm just gonna kinda go loose. Since the paint is still wet, I'm gonna switch to the lighter color. Almost like a branded in. Doing this wash, I tend to make the paint a little bit on the thinner side because I want the paint to run through the, all the screw lines of the hair. I'll switch to the dry brush again. Okay, I like how it came out. I think it's done. Ta-da! That was a lot of fun. Here's your Yoda Mythos statue all wrapped up.